Okay, welcome to Outlaw Woodworking. Today we're going to do a special project. We are going to do a little plaque and I'm going to show you where to go and download the plaque and how to put a couple 3D objects into it. So today's project will be adding multiple clip art in uh, Aspire. So we're going to start out, we're going to create a new file. Uh, Let's see, our width is going to be, let's say, 16 inches, and our height is going to be 10 inches. And we're going to be 3 quarters of an inch thick. So 0.75, and we're going to do inches, material surface, X, Y, left-hand corner. We're going to do a high resolution because we're going to bring in some 3D objects, and we'll hit OK. So there's our, there's our plaque design. The first thing I need to do is go in here to clip art and we're going to go down here to ribbons and banners or no let's see no 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 we're going to go in here to panel and shields and we're going to start there and we're going to look for a shield that we might want to use and So the one that kind of looked okay was, let's see, this one right here. So let's go ahead and double click that. And there it is. Now we're going to make it as big as we can on this piece of wood. So I'm going to hold down the shift key. That'll keep it in the center. And I'm going to grab this, this little end here. And I'm going to pull it out as far as I can. So right about there. And that's good. Okay, so now that we have that object in, let's bring in our 3D. Uh, so we're going to go back to clip art. We're going to go to animals. And let's see which one we want to do. I personally like the deer because I have a lot of deer around here. But I think I'm going to do something different this time. I think I'm going to do a bass. Yeah, I like that. Now, let's rotate this a little bit. And let's move it up a little bit. Okay, I like that. Now, one thing is we brought that in at the same plane. So what we need to do is raise it to the top of this material surface. So first what we need to do is find out what this material surface is. So go to modeling and change the properties. Let's see what that does right there. That's the one I was looking for. So you see this little number here, 0.4859. We're going to write that down, 0.4859. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and go out of that, close that. Now we're going to go back to our bass. We're going to highlight the bass. We're going to go to the properties and leaping bass. Now, shape height 0.3937, but we're going to go to where it says base height. And now we're going to type that number in 0.4859. And what that's going to do is that's going to put that that's going to put it where we want it. So we'll go ahead and click out of there. And let's take a look at the 3D, make sure he's there. Okay, so you can see he, he's come to the surface. And that looks good. And do a little scale. Yeah, that looks okay. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we'll go back to our 2D view. We'll go out of that. And let's get a full size view here. The next thing we need to do is bring in our ribbon. So we're going to go back to clip art. We're going to go to ribbons and banners. And let's pick out a banner. And I want to, I'm going to do something simple. So it kind of needs to go under, under the bass. So I think we should go ahead and get this one right here. And there it is. 
So we're going to move it into location. Right about there. Now I'm going to hold down the shift key. I'm going to grab this arrow and I'm going to pull it out as far as I need to. Probably right there. And I want to make it a little thicker, so I'm going to grab this node. Actually, that looks pretty. I shot it. You know, I don't even like this ribbon. I think I'm just going to do it without a ribbon. So what we want to do is put some text in here. And I think the, I think I want to keep it simple and just put um, gone fishing. So let's go to drawing. Let's go to text. And let's capital, we'll capital lock it. We're going to put gone fishing. And we'll do bold. And we'll just go OK right there. OK. So now we're going to center this thing side to side. So that's in the center. So now we want to, we're going to want to um, bring that down. No, not the fish. Fish needs to stay up there. Click out of there. Click out of there. No, wrong thing. There we go. Nope. There we go. Now that's a little too big, so we're going to need to hold the shift key down and scale that down just a little bit. Now, actually, I like that. I'm going to move it. I'm going to move it down a little more. Move it up a little bit. Actually, what I should do is split these. Let's see. Let's do two different ones. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to go back to text. We're going to put gone, old, close, and we're going to. We're going to scale that down a little bit, not too much, and we're going to put it right there. Gone fishing. Okay, we're going to put fishing. Nope, no, 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 no. Gone. That stays there. Click out of that. Then do another text. Click out of that. Text. Fishing. Bold, close. I want to make these letters look pretty close to the same size. Okay, so there's our plaque. So we've imported a 3D, um, this, bat, this plaque, a 3D fish, and then our letters. So let's go ahead and carve it out. We'll go up here to this arrow, switch to tool pass. I always like to cut the, the letters first, but um, we're going to have to do the plaque and the fish at the same time. So we're going to hold the shift key down, circle our fish, and then circle the plaque. So what we'll do is we'll do a roughing 3D, roughing 3D toolpath first. So let's go ahead and click on that. And it says error. Model thickness is thicker. So we need to change the thickness of our material to make this work. We're going to put one edge. So we'll have to do some. And you'll see that now the error goes away because our model was thicker than the three quarters inch. So we'll hit OK. And we're going to do from model boundary. And we're going to leave 0 0.04 for the finishing. And we'll go ahead and calculate. Okay, there it is. I had it shut off. So it's almost cut through the whole thing. So we'll have to do a cutting tool path in the end. So that's the roughing tool path. Now, I think what we want to do is we want to go ahead and do a finishing tool path. 
Um, the reason being is if we do a finishing tool path, then we'll V cut the gone fishing on top of that, that finishing tool path. So let's go over here and click 3D finishing tool path. Uh, it's going to use an eighth inch ball nose model boundary and all that can stay the same. Raster will calculate and we'll go back to the 3D drawing. It's calculating right there. Okay, there it is. And so we got both these things there. I'm going to shrink this one up. Okay, let's preview that. And you can see it gives really good detail on the fish. Yeah, that's really clean. Okay, once that's done, we'll go ahead and go back over here. We'll click out of those two 3D things, and we're going to highlight Gone and Fishing. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to close out of that. We're going to go up here to V-Carve because I'm going to V-Carve these. And we don't need a clearance tool when we're V-Carving the letters. We're going to use a V-Bit 90 degree half inch and start depth zero. However, our start depth is going to be the, the 3D model. So when so go down here, project tool path onto 3D model. It's very important that you check that because then it's going to go to that material surface. And let's calculate. And it did exactly what I wanted it to do. And we'll preview, we'll preview that tool path. There it is. And let's get rid of that. Cancel. Minimize this one. Let's stretch this out. And there's our sign. Now we still need to do one more thing. We need to cut out the material boundary. So we need to click out of that. We'll click on the, the, the plaque. We'll come back over to the toolpath. And we're going to do a pocket toolpath because we're going to cut out the outside. Um, we just need the material. Let's wait a minute. Close that. Pocket toolpath. And we need to go one inch thick because that's how much our material is. So we'll put that at one inch. And there's our end mill. That's okay. Oh, I know what I did wrong. Okay, let's go back to tool, the drawing tab. We're going to select the, the plaque. And we're going to go out over here and we're going to create vectors. So we need to... There's a button up here somewhere. Let's see. Okay, here it is. Create a new boundary vector around selected vector. So let's make sure we have it selected. And let's click on it again just to make sure. There we go. And we'll go over here to... There we go. So this little one with the arrow. So I'm going to create boundary offset. I don't need an offset, so I'm going to put zero. No suitable, but at least one vector must be selected. Outwards. Okay. I was on the wrong thing here. So let's highlight that again. Here's the one we want. Create vector boundary around selected component. Okay, now, now if we go in here, there we go. Okay, so I was on the wrong, I should have been on the modeling tool. And right here, just create vector boundary around selected object. And that's what we needed. So now we have that boundary there. We can leave it highlighted, go back over to the toolpath, go back to our 
a profile to a path, and it's going to cut around the object. So we already have it selected, and we could add tabs, which isn't a bad idea, um, but I'm not going to add them for this demonstration. So let's go ahead and calculate, and let's preview visible to a path. And you can see it cut right through there. And if we double click on the scrap, it'll get rid of the scrap. And there's your sign, gone fishing. So this would, this could be a nice little project that you could sell. Everybody likes little, you know, signs that are, you know, simple and kind of, so yeah, that's a good little sign. Anyway, this was a demonstration. This, this, these videos are for entertainment purposes only. I try to draw every day right now just to learn, just to keep learning as much as I can until my machine gets done. And then the real practice will be actually carving some of these on the machine. And that's when the real mistakes will probably be made. Anyway, that's a pretty nice looking little sign. It could be a good gift. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and I will see you next time. Later.